Hello sports fans, sports bettors, and YouTube nation. John here with Rick at Picks. How's everybody doing today? Uh, it's Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. Uh, got a quick free play coming up for you guys in the NHL. Um, on fire right now in free plays. Five in a row. Won the fifth one yesterday. Had the Minnesota Wild on the money line. I know we're laying a little bit of juice in hockey, but five wins in a row. Um, we'll take it every single time. So, we're going to go for six here. We're going to stay in the NHL. Um, quick recap from yesterday, uh, another mixed bag. I was up overall if you played my YouTube play and all my Patreon plays, you're up money. Um, over on Patreon, I was down a little bit, won the YouTube play, that covered. Um, so, But just kind of a mixed bag still. I had the Oilers um, on over the Canadians on the uh, money line, and the Canadians just came out and thumped the Oilers. The Oilers played like dog junk, plain and simple. Uh, Mike Smith, normally a really good goalie, had a rough night. Had the Wild on the three-way over the Coyotes. The Wild have pretty much owned the Coyotes for a while now. Um, Marlins first five, minus half a run. That cashed in the bottom of the fifth. Had the Reds over the Diamondbacks, um, or the Reds team total over four and a half. That whole game was a debacle. That was my chart pick, was also the Reds. Um, another chart pick that only failed because of the bullpen. And I know the bullpen's got to be factored into it, but it's so it's rough when you see a six spot hung in the eighth inning of one game. And then last night we had the Reds and Diamondbacks scored three in the ninth, five in the tenth to win the game, eight to five. Um, they scored three in the ninth to tie it up, three three, and then the Reds just couldn't come through. Um, they did come through and catch the team total, but they did not win the game. Um, had the Yankees over the Braves. I know, I know. Why did I take the Yankees? They're the a garbage team um, they always start out slow they always are garbage at the start of the season this year is no different um, I'm gonna start fading them hardcore until they can prove to me that they can win I don't think they're gonna win again tonight um, they got a pretty tough task ahead of them uh, Nationals first five uh, run line over st. Louis that cashed uh, Max Scherzer love the guy uh, you know I'll ride him into the sunset but <laughs> that did not sound good. We will we'll roll with Max Scherzer every time he pitches. Plain and simple. All right, on to the free YouTube play. We've got the uh, Boston Bruins, uh, Buffalo Sabres. This game, I think it's going to be a little better than it looks on the surface. I mean, Boston should come out and just thump Buffalo. But Buffalo's been playing tough. Tokarski's not a bad goalie. Um, he's been, you know, hanging tough and hanging in there. Boston looks like they're going to swim in tonight. I think both of these goalies have already been confirmed. So I'm actually doing a video that's got confirmed goalies, which is odd. Um, yeah, Swayman's confirmed and Tokarski's confirmed for Buffalo. Um, Dustin T Tokarski's 2-6 and six on the season with a 3.05 goals against average, 91.8 save percentage. Um, in Tuesday's game, he had 39 saves. Um, Buffalo lost that game two to nothing, as they could not score. But another solid outing by Tokarski. Um, you know, 39 shots against, only two goals went in. That's pretty good. On the other side, you got Swayman, who's going to be going. Um, he's four and one on the season, one shutout, 1.78 goals against average, and a 93.8 save percentage. So, you know, he's a very young 22-year-old goalie that's proven um, that he can hang in the NHL. Uh, Boston. Is, is a good team. They're, you know, all these teams are going to start gearing up for the playoffs, as I've been mentioning. And, you know, they, they want to solidify themselves as one of the top teams. You want to be a top team so you can play one of the bottom feeders in the first round. You don't get bounced right away. Boston's 26, 12, and 6 on the season, uh, 12, 6, and 3 away from home. Buffalo comes in. They're 12, 27, and 7 on the season. At home, they're just 5, 15, and 4. Um, not a great home record. They don't play well at home. The last 10 games um, head-to-head, -head, Boston's 9-1. and one. Um, Two of those have went to um, overtime or a shootout. Um, the under is, the over-under is um, 9 of the 10 games have went under the posted total. So keep that in mind if you want to play the, the, the over-under. I think this game is going to go under as well. Um, but I think Boston's just rolling here. Um, we're going to take them on the puck line. It, it, it is a little bit uh, riskier of a play, just given the recent play of Tokarski. But I think that at the end of the day, Buffalo is going to get the job done. They're going to win by two two or more goals. 
Yeah, right now it's at minus 115. Um, the plus one, one and a half for Buffalo is at minus 105. So th they have this game going either way. You got two solid goalies. The under five, it's, it's juiced to the under just a little bit at five and a half, but I really like the under. Um, so, um, but we're going to roll with your official Ricketts ice cold pop pick for this game. We're going Boston Bruins minus one and a half, minus 115. That's what we're going to roll. We're going to put a unit on it, um, call it a day. If you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn notifications on. Let's get six in a row right here, baby. Um, give me a big old thumbs up if you appreciate the run I've been on, if you appreciate true free daily sports betting advice each and every single day right here on this YouTube channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment sections. I miss my haters, but I'm winning, so I guess I don't really miss you that much. But all that being said, thank you guys once again. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.